Welcome back, friends. Uh, this video is dedicated to the understanding of the probability calculation for the tossing of a single die or a pair of dice. Now, as you have probably uh, played with a pair of dice, you know that a pair of die or a single die has six faces, and each of those faces is numbered from one to six. The probability of each of these faces is equal. So therefore, the probability of, of getting a 1 on a single throw of, of die is 1 out of 6. The probability of getting a 2 is 1 out of 6. The probability of getting a 3 is 1 out of 6. The probability of getting a 4 is 1 out of 6. And similarly, for 5 and also for 6. Each of these faces has a probability of 1 out of 6. So if you get a simple question which says that a single die is rolled, and the question says, what is the probability, find the probability of getting a 4, for example. So you'll simply say the answer is 1 out of 6. And this is going to be the same for any of these faces. The answer will always be 1 out of 6. So single die is actually pretty easy. Now, Let's try a question based on this idea. So the question says a die is rolled. Find the probability of getting a prime number. Now let's go back to the basics of probability. The probability of an outcome is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of all possible outcomes. So when you look at the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which of these are prime numbers? The first prime number is 2. And 3 is also a prime number, and so is 5. So the probability of getting a prime number is going to be equal to the number of favorable outcomes. That's 1, 2, 3. So that's 3 out of all possible outcomes that are 6, which turns out to be exactly 1 upon 2. Let's try another example. A die is rolled. Find the probability of getting a perfect square. Now, the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Which of these are, is or are a perfect square? 1 is a perfect square, because 1 square is 1. And 4 is a perfect square, because 2 square is 4. So therefore, the probability of getting a number that is a perfect square is going to be 2 out of 6, which is equal to 1 out of 3. Now, I want you to try a question. I want you to figure out the probability of getting a number that is not divisible by 3. Okay? I want you to think about this. I want you to find the probability that you get a number that is not divisible by 3. I want you to pause the video right now and try solving this on your own and then hit the replay button to see whether you got it right. Right. So, numbers that are not divisible by 3. So, 1 is not divisible by 3, 2 is not divisible by 3, 4 isn't, and neither is 5. So there's, there are four numbers that are not divisible by 3. So the answer to this question is going to be 4 out of 6, which is equal to 2 out of 3. Another way of solving this problem would have been that you could have simply figured out the probability of getting a number that is divisible by 3. And you would have discovered that 3 and 6 are two numbers that are divisible by 3. And you would have written 2 out of 6 as the probability of a number being divisible by 3 and then subtracting that from 1. You would have gotten the same answer, which is 4 out of 6 or 2 out of 3. Okay, now let's see what happens when we roll two dice. Now because one die has six faces, so if you roll two dice, the possibility of outcomes, the total number of possible outcomes, in terms of pairs of outcomes, 
is going to be 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. Okay, that's the first thing to know. You'll have 36 possible outcomes when you roll two dice. Now let's say a question says that you're rolling two dice and you're supposed to figure out the probability of getting a sum equal to 3. Now oh, that's not too difficult. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to figure out the different ways in which you can get a sum of 3. So you have the first die and we have the second die. So for you to get a sum of 3, it's possible that you get a 1 on the first throw and a 2 on the second throw. Or you could get a 2 on the first throw and a 1 on the second throw. So you'll have to figure out the possibilities of each of these outcomes separately and then add them up. Now remember, the probability of any particular outcome on a single throw of a die is, die is 1 out of 6. So the probability of getting a 1 on the first throw is 1 out of 6, and the probability of getting a 2 on the second throw is also 1 out of 6, and when you multiply them, you get 1 out of 36. Similarly, the probability of getting a 2 on the first throw is 1 out of 6, and the probability of getting a 1 on the second throw is also 1 out of 6, and that also comes out to be 1 out of 36. So therefore, the probability of getting a sum of 3 will be equal to 1 out of 36 plus 1 out of 36, which gives you 2 out of 36. You can simplify to 1 out of 18. Now you would have noticed that the probability of the first arrangement was 1 out of 36 and the probability of the second arrangement was also 1 out of 36. And that's true for any particular arrangement as long as you're throwing two dice. And uh, regardless of whatever combination you're looking at, each combination will have a probability of 1 out of 36. So instead of doing a calculation every time, what you simply can do is say that the probability of the first combination is going to be 1 out of 36 and that of the second combination will also be 1 out of 36 and therefore the final answer would be 1 out of 36 plus 1 out of 36 which is equal to 2 out of 36 or 1 out of 18. Okay, now let's try another example. Let's say the question says find the probability of getting a sum of 4. Now, what are the different ways in which you can get a sum of 4 when you roll two dice? Well, you can get a 1 and a 3, or you can get a 2 and 2, or you can get a 3 and 1. And each of these outcomes will have a probability of 1 out of 36. So therefore, the probability of getting a sum of 4 is going to be 1 out of 36 plus 1 out of 36 plus 1 out of 36 and you've got it it's 3 out of 36 which yes is 1 out of 12 great now I'm going to give you a question and I want you to try figuring out what the answer is I want you to figure out the probability that when you roll two dice, what is the probability of getting a sum of 6? I want you to pause the video right now and see what answer you get. So you've probably figured out the combinations that get you a 6. Well, that's 1 and 5, 2 and 4. 3 and 3, 4 and 2, 5 and 1. And since each of these has a probability of 1 out of 36, then the probability of getting a sum equal to 6 
will be 1 out of 36 times 5, and that's 5 out of 36. That's your answer. Another way of looking at the same problem is to create what is known as a sample space. Now, a sample space is when you roll two dice, you can make a simple table, divide it horizontally and vertically. Say this is die 1, and the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And this is die 2 on the vertical axis. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the possible sums, let's say the question is about sums. If, if it's about difference, you could use, uh, you could subtract them. If it's about sum, this is what, gonna, what I'm going to do. I'm going to create the sample space for sums. So 1 plus 1 gives you a 2. A 2 plus 1 gives you a 3. A 3 plus 1 gives you a 4. A 4 plus 1 gives you a 5, and so on and so forth. And similarly, in the second row, a 1 plus 2 gives you a 3, a 2 plus 2 gives you a 4, and then a 5, 6, 7, and 8. And similarly, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. And you will notice that when I complete this table, then we will have a total of 36 sums written here. As you can see, if you count the total sums, they are, come out to be 36. The great part is that counting any particular sum is easy because they all appear diagonally. So for example, if a question says, what is the probability of getting a sum of 10? So you can see that it appears diagonally over here. Okay. So the answer would be 3 out of 36, which is equal to 1 out of 12. Okay? So here's a question for you. Find the probability that the sum is a prime number. Okay? Go hit the pause button and figure out the answer. Right, so the question that I gave you was to find the probability that the sum of the outcomes on two rolls per die is a prime number. Uh, so you have the sample space right here below in which you have 36 possible outcomes and you have to figure out how many of those are prime. Okay, so let's figure out the ones that are prime. So the prime outcomes are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Okay? Uh, so if you count them, you have 2 occurring once, 3 occurring twice, 5 occurring 4 times, 7 occurring 6 times, and 11 occurring twice. So if you add them up, you get a total of 15 prime outcomes. Okay? So there are 15 primes. So the probability of draw, uh, getting a sum of two rolls of a die to be a prime is going to be 15. The probability would be 15 out of 36, which simplifies to 5 out of 12. Okay? So the probability of getting a sum of uh, two rolls on die to be a prime is going to be 5 out of 12, because there are Five, there are twelve. Uh, there are fifteen possible primes that you can get. Okay, I hope this is clear to you.